Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Rajeshwar from YR PharmaTube. In the previous video, we discussed the structure activity relationships and mechanism of action of amino glycosides. If you did not watch the video, hit the i button on top right of this video to watch it. For the other topics of antibiotics and medicinal chemistry, click on the links given in the description below this video. Also, answer the questions given in the community tab. In this video, we shall learn the individual amino glycosides such as streptomycin, neomycin and kenamycin. The first drug of this lesson is streptomycin. Streptomycin was the first amino glycoside antibiotic to become commercially available for chemotherapeutic use. It was isolated by Waxman et al. in 1944 from a strain of Streptomyces griseus. This drug proved to be the first clinically effective drug for the treatment of tuberculosis. Streptomycin is chemically a triacidic base and possesses an aldehyde carbonyl group. The three structural units of an amino glycoside are streptidine, streptose and N-methyl L-glucosamine which are connected through glycosidic linkages. Streptomycin has a role as an antimicrobial agent, a protein synthesis inhibitor, a bacterial metabolite and an antifungal agrochemical. Streptomycin undergoes hydrolysis at appropriate acidic conditions to give a diacidic base known as streptidine. The streptidine on alkaline hydrolysis is first converted to a urea derivative and then into the amine called streptamine. It is a meso compound. The absolute stereochemistry of streptamine is analogous to 2-deoxystreptamine unit present in the neomycins and kenamycins. On mild methanolysis, that is on reaction with methanol in the presence of hydrochloric acid, streptomycin gives streptidine and methyl streptobiosamidine dimethyl acetal. Dihydrostreptamine is a semi-synthetic antibiotic prepared by reduction of streptomycin. In this process, the aldehyde group of streptose moiety is converted to a primary alcohol that is CH2OH. Dihydrostreptamine has also been found to occur naturally and has been isolated from fermentation broth of streptomyces humidus. Since dihydrostreptamine is more ototoxic than streptomycin, it is no more used in humans although it is employed in veterinary practice. Streptomycin is a white or almost white powder which is hygroscopic in nature. It is very soluble in water. It is stored in a well-closed container protected from moisture and kept in a cool place. Mechanism of action of streptomycin Streptomycin irreversibly binds to the bacterial 30S ribosomal subunit. As a result, this agent interferes with the assembly of initiation complex between mRNA and the bacterial ribosome thereby inhibiting the initiation of protein synthesis. In addition, streptomycin induces misreading of the mRNA template and causes translational frame shift thereby results in premature termination. This eventually leads to bacterial cell death. Uses of streptomycin Streptomycin is an antibiotic used to treat a number of bacterial infections including the tuberculosis, mycobacterium avium complex, endocarditis, brucellosis, burkholderia infection, plague, tularemia and rat bite fever. For active tuberculosis, it is often given with isoniazid, rifampicin and pyrazinamide. Streptomycin is administered by injection into a vein or muscle. The second drug is neomycin. In 1949, Waxman and Lechevelier isolated neomycin from Streptomyces fradiae. Standard grade neomycin is composed of several related compounds including neomycin A known as neamine, neomycin B which is known as frimycetin, neomycin C and a few minor compounds found in much lower quantities. They all contain the aminocyclitol 2-deoxystreptamine moiety. Neomycin B is the most active component in neomycins followed by neomycin C and neomycin A. Neomycin A is an inactive degradation product of the neomycin C and B isomers. Neomycins are 4,5 disubstituted as shown in ring A, D ribose unit which is ring C and 2 amino sugars that is ring B and D. 
one of the amino sugars that is ring b of neomycin is neosamine c which is chemically known as 2,6 diamino 2,6 dideoxy d glucose the other amino sugar that is ring d in neomycin b is neosamine b that is 2,6 diamino 2,6 dideoxy d diose while that of neomycin c it is a second neoamine c on methanolysis, neomycin B and C gives methyl neobiosamidines B and C respectively the distinguishing feature of neobiosamines B and C being the difference in stereochemistry at position 5 in the components neosamines B and C. This in fact in the sole distinguishing feature between the respective neobiosamines B and C and neosamines B and C. Framycetin produced by Streptomyces fradiae or Streptomyces decaris consists mainly of neomycin B. Neomycin has a role as an antibacterial agent, an allergen and an E. coli metabolite. Neomycin as the sulfate salt, it is a white or yellowish white crystalline powder. It is freely soluble in water. It is hygroscopic and photosensitive compound. Thus, it is stored in a well-closed container, protected from light and kept in a cool place. The mechanism of action of neomycin is the same as that of the other aminoglycosides. Clinical uses of neomycin Neomycin is active against many strains of gram-negative bacteria but is devoid of activity against Pseudomonas aeruginosa. It is active against many strains of Streptomyces aureus. The toxicity prevents use of neomycin for systemic infections. Neomycin sulfate is applied topically in the management of infections of the ear, eye and skin. It is often combined with corticosteroids in topical applications. Neomycin sulfate has been used for bowel preparation before surgery and selective decontamination of the gastrointestinal tract. And the last drug of this lesson is kenamycin. Kenamycin was isolated by Umezawa et al. from the cultures of Streptomyces kenamyceticus obtained from the soil in the Nagarao district of Japan. It is a 4,6 disubstituted 2-deoxystreptamine containing antibiotic built up from 3 subunits, namely 2-deoxystreptamine and 2 amino sugars. Kenamycin is a mixture of 3 components, namely Kenamycin A, Kenamycin B and Kenamycin C. Of these 3 Kenamycins, Kenamycin A is the major component and Kenamycins B and C are two minor components. As shown in the structure, Kenamycin A, B and C all contain the 3-amino 3-deoxy D-glucose also known as a canosamine moiety which is glycosidically bound to the hydroxyl group at C6 of 2-deoxy streptamine. They are differentiated by the second amino sugar on the hydroxyl group at C4 of 2-deoxystreptamine, 6-amino 6-deoxy-D-glucose in kenamycin A, 2,6-diamino 2,6-di-deoxy-D-glucose that is neosamine C in kenamycin B and D-glucosamine in kenamycin C. The kenamycins differ only in the sugar moieties attached to the glycosidic oxygen on the fourth position of the central deoxystreptamine. Structurally, they resemble neomycins and paramomycins. The kenamycins do not contain the D-ribose molecule that is present in neomycins and paramomycins. Perhaps this structural difference is related to the lower toxicity observed with kenamycins. The canosamine fragment linked glycosidically to the sixth position of deoxystreptamine is 3-amino 3-deoxy-D-glucose which is known as 3-D-glucosamine in all three kenamycins. Kenamycin A contains 6-amino 6-deoxy-D-glucose. Kenamycin B contains 2,6-diamino 2,6-di-deoxy-D-glucose and Kenamycin C contains 2-amino 2-deoxy-D-glucose. In the synthesis of Kenamycin, the subunits of Kenamycin were independently synthesized and directly combined with 2-deoxystreptamine to form Kenamycin. Kenamycin is a white or almost white crystalline powder. It is basic and forms salts of acids through its amine groups. It is water soluble as the free base but it is used in therapy as the sulfate salt which is very soluble. It is stable to both heat and chemicals. Kenamycin solutions resist both acids and alkali within the pH range of 2 to 11. Kenamycin's mechanism of action is similar to that of other aminoglycosides. Clinical uses of Kenamycin 
Kenamycin was employed in the treatment of tuberculosis in combination with other effective drugs but because of its toxicity the use has declined. Now it is used only to treat infections by microorganisms which are resistant to more commonly used agents. It is used for treating sepsis, meningitis, osteomyelitis, periotonitis, pneumonia, pyelonephritis, pyelocystitis, infected wounds and post-operational purulent complications caused by microorganisms sensitive to the drug. Like neomycin, keramycin has been given orally as an intestinal antiseptic. It is available in oral, intravenous and intramuscular forms. This is the list of references followed for the lesson. That's all in this video, the individual aminoglycosides streptomycin, neomycin and kenamycin. In the next lesson, we will discuss the tetracyclines. Till then, never stop learning and never stop watching my videos. Thank you for watching this video.